with their own dancing and today we're going to do a little bit of a different kind of video. As you can see, we're not in the studio. We're actually in my room, in my boot closet. I got a little boot boutique going on here and I'm just going to tell you about some of the boots that I have. So the number one question that I get asked a lot is what kind of boots do you wear when you go dancing? Or do you have a favorite brand that you love to wear when you go dancing? And I'm going to tell you this. I pick out my boots, <laughs> how I pick out my men, all right? They gotta look good on the top and they gotta be functional on the bottom, all right? So, <laughs> so what I'm saying here is that, demonstration number one, is that I have a one of my favorite pairs to dance in. It's a Cheyenne brand boot, okay? And as you can see, it's definitely, it's got a little hot red and it has a leather bottom, meaning that it's slick on the bottom. Now, I love the slick bottom boots, the leather bottom boots, because that's how you can spin easier. That's how you can maneuver quick and glide on the dance floor. So that is what I go for when I'm looking for boots, not necessarily the brand, but whether or not they have that slick bottom, okay? Now, my other favorite pair of boots to dance in are my corrals. Now these are, you can see they're a little bit taller, heel to heel, we got a longer shaft as you call them. <laughs> um, so the bottom is leather, so you can see that still nice and slick. Again, easy to glide on the dance floor. Now, for my other pair of boots, now I do, that's not to say that I don't buy rubber boots, rubber bottom boots, but the rubber bottom, as you can see, it's a little more sticky. So if I know that I'm going to be dancing outside or in the dirt, because I'm a dirt road dancer, um, or in the gravel or wherever, if I'm going to a music festival, I want to grab my, my rubber bottom boots because they're going to be a little more sturdy. They're not going to get ripped up. Now, I'm going to show you what happens when you do take that leather bottom boot and you dance in the gravel and the dirt. It will get a little bit of this wear and tear. You can see how I, I overdone my dancing in the dirt in these boots. Um, but for the most part, yeah, you definitely want to stick with those leather bottom, bottoms on the dance floor and then take your rubber bottoms out when you're kicking up dust. Okay? All right. So with that said, hopefully now you have a little bit more clarity on what kind of boot you want depending on where you're gonna go dancing, right? So again, if you're going on the dance floor, you want that slick bottom. If you're going out, kicking up dust, you want that rubber bottom. Okay, well, I hope this helps. Thanks for kicking it with me today. And this boot's for you.